Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you. Bermuda, Bahama. Can you hear me? Whoa. Yeah, I can hear you. Well, hold on. Hold on. I got mistakes and everything happening. There's a doings that happening. Yeah, it kind of sounds like you're standing in a cave. All right. What about now? Oh, that sounds great. All right. You're not old enough to sit in that chair. Because I need to when I'm fat and old. All right. We're definitely leaving that in on the episode. Yeah. You, you're not recording it, are you? Yes, I am. Why are you recording? This is not good. How do I sound? I wanted to check the audio first. What are you wearing? I forgot all these things. <laughs> now who's in charge? We'll play no, by no. my rules now, you son of a bitch. Unless you learn to edit and upload, I'm pretty sure I'm safe. I can edit. Hi, Dad. My dad's on FaceTime right now on another phone. I'm recording a podcast at the beach. Um... Whew, so, are we really recording? Yeah, why not? Well, I like it. Um, so, <laughs> because uh, if, if there's I'm, one I'm thing, a... ab- there's one thing about our podcast: it's professional. Yeah. Uh huh. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I'm having a really hard time today because I, I'm sitting out here. I'm sitting out here on the beach, in Newport, California. Okay. There's a little side boob happening over there. Some young girls happening. And I'm drinking a beer in an incognito cup. But the bathroom's like 200 yards away, man. It is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, what a hard life you're living. So I have to like, I have to weigh the pros and cons of whether I should go pee in the ocean or walk over to the bathroom. So I know you feel my pain. I'm sorry, people. Like, COVID's a big thing, but this is worse. Well, I mean, I'm gl- what I'm glad is, is that you have your priorities in order and you really know what's important in life. That's, that's, I think, the important thing to take away from this. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention I'm here by myself. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm here with my sister and my nieces and then uh, two of my little kids. The other ones had school and work, being my wife and my older kid. Well, hey, what, what's that ship? What is that UFO flying over in the distance over there, guys? I'm not kidding. The Avengers are real. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a UFO because I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, so what's up with you, Eric? Oh, by the way, this is We Should Be Better at This. My name is ah, Chris Donovan, yes, the one with the worst that. audio. <laughs> uh, yeah, for the first time, the one with the worst audio is you. Uh, and this is Eric Lecky over here. I can be found at Sinatra's Rat Pack, and Chris can be found at the beach, apparently. Yeah, you know, I, my family, my, my sister's in town with some nieces, and they don't have oceans up there, so I brought them down here to the ocean. Yeah, we're, we're Can I there, tell right? you? Yeah, good. Oh, uh, they're from Washington State. Okay. But can I tell you that uh, apparently Orange County doesn't recognize COVID as a thing because uh, nobody's distancing from anybody and nobody's really wearing masks and whew, it's interesting. Yeah, but uh, at least the girls are prettier down there. I mean, women are just, it's a fact that women are more attractive in Orange County. That is true, and you live in Texas now, so I guess we can wrap around that question. Uh, are the women are the women bigger in Texas? Uh, n- no, but they're blonder. A lot of blondes. Oh, wrong B word. 
No, <laughs> no, but the, yeah, there's a lot of blondes uh, here in Texas. Uh, I, I think there's not enough uh, mixing of the races, if you know what I mean, out here. So I think they're a little. Bit, uh, I think there's you know that little bit of uh, that little tinge, a little hint of racism in the air is uh, just enough to keep uh, the blondes blonde, I guess. Well, I guess the good thing is, is that since you have ethnically different children and you live in that area, yeah, the one percent, which is you will get all those minority <laughs> grants and loans for that de- that geographic area. So oh, I sure hope so. That'd be interesting. Be way better than Whittier, I can tell you that. So, uh, you know, you had mentioned about going to uh, uh, the kids going back, some kids going back to school and all that. A lot of kids started uh, this week. Some kids start next week. My kids do. So uh, what yep. are some of your thoughts on the kids going back to school? I know your kids kind of do a homeschooling program, but uh, what are your thoughts about the starting up of school? Uh, well, my senior just started this week. Uh, she went into it kind of blind, not knowing what was happening, a little stressed out. Um, but after after the first day, she's like, this is nothing. The second day, she's like, I'm done at 1030 in the morning. Today's the third day. I haven't heard her complain yet. So I think it's going okay um, because I think she's realizing that there's only about 30 minutes in a class that you actually did anything with your teacher. <laughs> yeah so that that's the time you're on zoom and the rest of it you're just doing your work <laughs> yeah and it, I, it still is a disappointing um i mean i understand why we're doing some of the distance learning but uh i don't know M- my theory is if the, if if the people have to go to work at trader joe's because they're essential workers why the hell can't a teacher teach are, are they saying they're not essential workers like why is one group of people able to put themselves at risk and the others aren't i, I still don't understand that. And, and i agree um, and by the but way, it's also, easier to control. I mean, if you're in a grocery store, for instance, customers are all around, they're touching things, they're in your face, they're walking in and out, hundreds of people walk in the door. If you're a teacher, you got like a uh, uh, 27, you know, 11 year olds and they're sitting in the, in the chair, they got their masks on and you can keep your distance and you could, you know, I mean, like it's, it's in my opinion, actually safer than the person who works at the grocery store. You know, it's more of a controlled environment. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it's safer totally. But I think that we're gonna. I think that that all school districts across the nation are afraid that we're finally gonna figure out they have way too many kids in each classroom and they can't move their desks six feet apart each <laughs> I, I to give enough room them, right now. Yeah, they can't move them six <laughs> feet apart. What are you talking about? Yeah, so so maybe that's the whole thing. Maybe they're, every school district's weird to be. They're gonna be brought down like Jimmy Hoffa or something and buried in like the new Raiders Stadium in Vegas. <laughs> oh my god dude like a, i think a, i think a, a gaggle of kids just exploded behind me oh my god i'm, I'm totally kids. i'm totally getting covid today wow yeah all right well i guess you know where i got it from eric it's being recorded right it's being it is or did you, or did you fuck up that already no i think i actually <laughs> yeah, screw that one up um the other thing i thought was kind of interesting was the uh, uh watching my you know so my oldest is going into high school and yes. watching her uh, options uh, is amazing. I mean, have you seen? I mean, I don't know about you, but I remember when I was in school, your electives were like you could take Spanish, you could um, take oh, more Spanish, or you could also take Spanish uh, <laughs> as as an elective. And it's like my kid literally got into a class called eSports. Wait, what? Yes, she is e sports. She is taking a class on e sports, and it is an official elective that count towards counts towards graduation credits. Was the Netflix class full? Yeah, you know uh, the the <laughs> podcasting class was uh, where you just sit and listen to podcasts was I guess uh, overrun with people, but. But yeah, I mean, and I was looking. They at must be listening options. to ours. <laughs> well, I mean, you're looking at uh, uh, what, like 900 students. It's not like you need that many options. I mean, I don't understand where some they have a music appreciation. Uh, oh, you're thinking about film this appreciation. The wrong way, you're thinking about this the wrong way. Why? You and I need to get jobs teaching one of these classes as an elective where nobody cares to be there. And you can just go up there and ramble for a while and take home a salary of six or seven digits. Well, what you're forgetting is that I'm not allowed around children for reasons we See, won't go okay. into. Okay, that's right. I forgot about you. I'll try. <laughs> I'll go try to teach podcasting to a to a, an elective class of high schoolers in some I, I, third I guess, world city. I guess if I if you think about it, it might make sense. I mean, to to teach. 
uh, someone a podcasting for an example. I mean, if you teach someone how to do that, there, that there's careers in podcasting. You could teach sound and engineering. You could teach. Yep. Um, it's 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 a division of a speech and debate club because you're talking, you're having to think on your feet. I mean, I guess I can see some benefits of uh, of teaching that kind of stuff. I just was amazed by the amount of options that the kids have now. Yeah. No, they do. I think. Um... I was baffled the fact that golf was an option when I, after I had graduated college and that came into high school. Um, because if I could have done golf for a class, yeah. Okay. I'm in, but yeah, no, I mean, I, we didn't have a pool where I grew up, so we didn't have any of the swimming or anything. So we were very limited, but, but I think, um, I think <laughs> my, my senior in high school was saying how some of the electives were pretty obscure. But it, you know what I think it's funny. I think it's that that's a reflection of the teachers who are now teaching. They're now like those millennials that are, you know, they've graduated college now. Uh, you know, they're yeah. in their early thirties or late twenties. They graduate college. They're becoming a teacher. And All right. they're like, well, what do you know how to do? Well, I can play video games. Great. You're teaching esports. What do you know how to do? I don't know. I lived at home until I was 28 years old. I know how to, uh, I don't know. Listen to podcasts. Great. You're in, we have a podcasting class now. I mean, the I, got one, the, I got one. Yeah. <laughs> I got one. All right. So what are you good at? Oh, I really love Pinterest. Okay, cool. You're doing fashion design. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, what's another one? What's think, well, the days of a shop teacher, right? No one knows how to make anything anymore. So no one's, a, you don't find any new young shop teachers. They're all 87 years old. Yeah, no, because they own the equipment. And they're not dumb enough to go to the school. Anyway, no, but okay, hold on. Another one, hold on. Okay. What do you do? I like the paddleboard. Oh, so you're outdoor sports uh, director. <laughs> your, water, your water sports activities director. <laughs> uh, what, about, what would be your title? Okay, my, let's see. Mine would be um, uh, masturbatory health counselor where I, oh. I, I, can, I can just talk about the pros and cons of using a baby oil as opposed to a lotion. Okay, that's where I thought you were going. And um, <laughs> you know what? That class would probably be, pull, probably be full of some sophomores. I think sophomores would take that elective. Yeah, why not? I mean, mind my... fresh. I'm, honestly, I could teach that in college. I'm so advanced. Uh, well, in college, it'd be safer for you. Yeah. Well, that's a good point too. <laughs> <laughs> My class, I think, would be something along the lines of like, we're all forced to be here. <laughs> It'll be, the motto would be something like well, Marshawn Lynch. I'm only here because I'm getting paid because or so I don't get paid. fined. <laughs> uh, mine would be, I'm only here because I get to yank it and get paid. But how, but how, how like real to real life would that be? Okay, so what do I have to do now? You literally have to sit here and not leave for an hour. Why? Because... <laughs> You're paying for it. Well, why? That's real life. Just get used to that. Because <laughs> that happens a lot. Class dismissed. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Nope. No, not dismissed. Now class dismissed. Yes. <laughs> clock or, in and clock out. Get the fuck out of here. Or uh, ooh, <laughs> another one oh, that would be actually realistic that could, that could be taught is what about um, how to survive in the work world nowadays? Uh, you know, like t teaching people how to use a copier and a Xerox machine oh. or uh, uh, ooh, teaching them how to use basic Excel formulas. Oh my God. That's so 2019 dude It's 2020. Now it's how do you get into zoom without showing everybody you're not wearing pants and yes. how do you get to it? How do you watch porn while you're at work? Yeah, exactly. How to get past your works internet filter. <laughs> yeah. Right. How to, how to get past your works firewall. Yes. <laughs> so no, but uh, you're right. It's, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, and I, I, I wonder if they're going to even get an education this year. I mean, the, the tail end of last year was kind of a, a, a dud. You know, like I think we all just kind of wrote it off as, oh, whatever. They just didn't end the year very well. But now yeah. it's kind of like they're starting this whole new one and it's still like not nothing's really in place and nothing's working properly. And I don't think they know what they're doing still. And I think it's kind of like the thought of having a completely lost year from your children uh, education wise and just, you know, growth wise, I just think is a little troubling. Yeah, no, it's going to suck. I, I <laughs> so obviously you're homeschooling them now or they get to go to school a couple oh, days a week. We're or... really, we're really thinking about homeschooling, but no, they're going, they're going to school. Uh, we moved out to Texas for the good schools. So I would, I would be stupid to be like, we moved out to Texas and now we're homeschooling. So, uh, I got to take advantage of the good schools out here, but, 
Um, not, not to mention your grade level is what third, fourth. Yeah, that's they've, probably the, not. A, the fact is, my kids have already surpassed me in in grade. Yeah. So I mean, that's also another reason. Um, hey, and the with the thing, bum leg, you can't pretend to be a physical ed teacher, so you're screwed. I can't. I'm totally screwed. Uh, on on other <laughs> note, uh, my construction is finally done. Today was the final day. They finished up and they are done. So, are you happy with it all? I, it's definitely a little weird, but nothing's, you know, nothing's decorated yet. Like nothing is, um, you know, none of the furniture's there, none of the other stuff. So it kind of looks interesting, but I think when everything's in, in there and designed, it's going to look good. But we put up some very, uh, over the top gaudy wallpaper. Um, oh God. Yeah. We put up, uh, a tiki thatch material on the walls to use as wallpaper. We put up a bamboo, uh, I mean, it's a full tiki themed uh, room and it's actually, uh, I think it came out pretty good overall. Okay. Well, I don't know if I ever told you this, but my ex fiance had a tiki themed room. Yeah. So now I'm never going to come to your house probably because you have a dog mm -hmm. and the dog, you have a tiki themed room. <laughs> you have a tiki themed room. Yeah. And you're in Texas. I mean, <laughs> and I did, and, and my wife's changing her name to Jessica. So, uh, oh Jesus! Wow. Yeah, I went there. Okay, I did. Well, don't worry. Nobody that knows that <laughs> listens to this podcast. <laughs> but you know it. Actually, and that was the whole nobody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But but then again, nobody listens to this podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. But you know, uh, so have you've had? We were talking about this before, but you've had construction done, right? Where you've had to kind of give them. Yes, the kitchen. So what what is it about them where they can't? Uh, they can't make a decision on their own. They need you to tell them, right? But it's like they're yes. asking you questions that you obviously don't know. You know, uh, hey, Eric, uh, do you want us to use a grout line, a 27-inch uh, hook scooper, or do you want us to use the, <laughs> the old uh, end around uh, underneath uh, flare? Uh, yeah, go, uh, yeah, go with the scooper. Okay, okay, we're going to do that. It's like, why are you asking me? You guys are the ones that know what you're doing. Are you directing an adult movie? What the hell are you just saying? <laughs> Only in my mind. Um, no, no. I agree. I agree. But also, they kind of keep it vague, too, when you ask. When they ask. They're like, hey, do you want to make sure that, like, it's over here and it's done okay? Or do you – no, they're not coming in going – they might say some words like, hey, can we use the third flat thing or whatever? But they're never, like, precise about exactly how it's going to be. Yeah. It's always very vague. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and, then, and then it's funny because then the things that they'll do on their own without asking you, you're like, no, 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 no. You should have asked me that one. Yeah. I didn't want the you windows to rip out that be wall. There. <laughs> yeah. No, that wall no, was no, supposed no, that... to stay standing. <laughs> now you can see my bedroom. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Come on, people. No, but it's funny because, yeah, there was many a times they're like, uh, there's only a couple because the kitchen was, I mean, their kitchen's tiny. You've seen our kitchen. It's about the size of most bathrooms, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. um, so there wasn't a whole lot they could do to make me go, what? <laughs> so, but when they did, however, have to take up half the floor and we had a bunch of dirt in our house and, and that, I was a little worried about what the hell they were doing. But after seeing it all done, it, it worked out. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was, uh, did you hear the news with Uber, how Uber is basically going to pull out of California completely? <laughs> kind of what you did. Ah, uh, if I would have pulled out completely, I wouldn't have two kids. Um, anyways, well, you were in California until so recent. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but you know, uh, Uber announced that uh, I heard. Uh, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna pull out because the courts have ruled that all of their drivers are employees, not contractors, or not 1099 employees or anything like that, and they literally can't survive if they have to pay everyone. And then, especially in California. They're going to have to pay them like minimum wage and pay benefits and pay all this kind of stuff. And I understand the concept of what they're, what the government is trying to do. They're saying, Oh, you know, these people want to be paid, but a lot of the people who are driving for Uber are, they're choosing that they're not forced to work there. They're choosing it. They're making money on the side. They work when they want to, they don't have a boss. I don't understand how they're considered employees. Like if you, if you don't have to report to anything, do anything and only work when you want to, I don't see how you're an employee of a company. I, I agree. It's totally a contract kind of thing. Yeah. And, uh, and I think, I, you know, I think it's, it's going to be one of the first of many companies to be like, all right, Cali, then screw you. Uh, we just won't do any business in your state. Yeah. And, and, and I think I, it, it's going to just escalate to other companies and businesses. I mean, it's kind of happening a little bit like countrywide, but it's going to go state to state soon. Well, and also, I mean, what are you going to do when the drunk driving uh, incidences start increasing, you know, and what, what are you going to do when uh, uh, 
the everyone pulls out of California and there's no options left and you know car crashes i mean they've already shown that the the amount of drunk driving arrests and everything have dropped by like uh 33% and uh, i mean it's so, just cuz i stopped driving yeah that's a good point you stopped driving so far every day <laughs> but you know i mean it's true i mean think about it how many times is it's like you know what i can just call an uber i could just get there via uber uh, yeah, and, seven and if, bucks. It was pretty economical too. It wasn't. It wasn't expensive, really, unless you were going really far. But even really far, I would from me to the airport here in Ontario was thirty bucks. That's not bad. Parking there is twenty nine bucks a day or something stupid. Well, and you know what's going to wind up happening if Uber does if decide to stay in California, they're going to have to change their pricing model, and then it's going to be like New York. I don't know if you've ever taken a cab or a, uh, an mm-hmm. Uber in New York during uh, uh, what do they call it? Rush? Not rush hour, but what's the uh, the prime rate time or so whatever time. because yeah. you go like two miles you'll go from like midtown to like the world trade center it's like two and a half miles and it'll be like that was a 300 dollar uber ride like are you kidding me and i think that's yeah what's going to wind up happening. exactly especially when you know that you're in this uber and you're seeing the people walk past you every single time you stop they keep getting farther and farther away when they're walking down the street you probably should have not taken the uber anyway but come on <laughs> yeah um and then the the final one i had was uh, uh i was gonna tell you uh so have you ever won an ebay auction that you completely forgot about and then you won it and now you're obligated to pay yes tell what did you buy it. oh my, my daughter's <laughs> clarinet Oh, is that what you did? She no, needed one for school, up. and I put a bid in, forgot all about it. Then the school says, oh, no, no, we'll give her one for free. And then I get an email saying, you won your bid, and I tried backing out of it, and they said no. They will. Yeah, because like, they've probably been trying to sell that clarinet for years. Yeah, so it's like now I owe $170 for a clarinet Ooh. that I don't want to pay for. You should have gone to a pawn shop, dude. You could have bought one for like 80 bucks. Yeah, but she needs one that's not made out of like the plastic. She needs like the good wood. Or or <laughs> no, I know. But, uh, but, no. Yeah, I have, but what, what did you buy that you got, had to get stuck with? Uh, there have been many a times where I'll, uh, I'll put bids in on like, like video games or something for the kids or like, like accessories for the Xbox or something. And then I'll be like, I'll get an email like, you won this auction. I'm like, what the hell is this? And of course, I'm drinking when I'm doing this. Oh. So... <laughs> so then I looked down like, oh shit! I just bought three new remote control, three new controllers for our Xbox One. Awesome! <laughs> yeah, it, uh, drunk eBay shopping is a little dangerous. I have made that mistake before. Um, yes, I've, I've made that mistake before. But for me, I'll buy like um, totally useless stuff. You know, I'll buy like a uh, ooh a Sinatra used toothpick, four hundred dollars. That sounds like a deal. Oh my God, you're hilarious. No, I've had many a times where I've bought things straight up and forgot about, and a package would show up and I'd be like, wait, what is this? I'm like, oh, more LED lights for. <laughs> Have you ever bought what? anything from uh, like <laughs> wish.com or any of those Chinese sites? Mm-hmm. So if you buy them, no. from, you're, you're ordering straight from China. So you, do, you obviously get the SARS uh, and you get uh, the bird flu and you get everything else they got. But Or the Homer Simpson one? Yes, exactly. The, the Tokyo, they call it the uh, Tokyo flu. Is, that one was from Japan. But yeah. uh, So uh, I'll order stuff from this wish.com and it'll take 10 to 12 weeks to arrive. So there's actually stuff that I ordered before we moved to Texas that just now arrived the other day. At, in Whittier, forget about it or in yeah. texas at, in texas and oh and wow we bought it before we even owned the house out here but i so how many couches are you stuck with uh well luckily they were all smaller things that i bought i, I didn't get stuck with it but you buy them and then you totally forget about them and then some packages yep. there and you're like wait what yeah wh- one time i think we had uh <laughs> was it like three three video cameras to expand our security system at our house and I was like, Evelyn's like, would you buy it? And I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> and then she opens it and she's like, because those are not cheap items. Yes. She was like, what the hell? And I'm like, oh, I mean, uh, uh, I want our family to be secure, babe. <laughs> <laughs> really secure. <laughs> so, I mean, I sent two back, but still. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So I'll, I'll have to wind up buying this thing, but I hate that I'm buying something that someone else got for free. Uh, if you want to get out of it, at any cost is that you have to read through the description and if there's anything not in the description like a scuff mark a cut a scrape or whatever 
you have every right to be like, no, this is here. I was told it wasn't it, what you never said that you can return it. So I have to pay for it, wait to it to gets delivered to then ship it back to them and tell them to go pound sand. Uh, yes, that is the way eBay works. And if they don't offer you a refund, make sure you double check the listing and make sure refunds are offered. And then if they don't, then, I mean, that could be the end of their eBay store. Believe me, I've closed down a couple of eBay stores. <laughs> really? Man, yeah. you're ruthless. I've done a lot of work to try to make money. <laughs> well, uh, I don't want stripping. Uh, well, we've all done that. Um, well, Chris, I don't want to take you away from your beach vacation anymore. So I think we'll go ahead and wrap up this uh, uh, slightly abbreviated episode of We Should Be Better at This. And we'll be back next week with a normal episode. And uh, we look forward to uh, uh, talking funny stuff uh, next week. Yeah, do me a favor. Go to this is funner dot com. Check out all the podcasts I do with my family and friends up there, including this one and one with my wife called Converse Seat with us. So we were recently in Idaho filming a reality TV show. Yes, I listened to that episode want- because I wanted to hear if you would expand so skinny, on any of the secrets. Listen, yes, yeah, I may or may not have died, and I may or may not have met Tom Hanks. So listen. <laughs> That's a great. That's a great selling point. Like I may game. or may not be a millionaire. Come sleep uh, with me on next week's, <laughs> on next week's episode of We Should Be Better at This. We are going to have Sean Penn fighting uh, uh, Charlize Theron in a uh, death match. Uh, loser uh, gets killed. Possibly next week. Possibly refereed by Morgan Freeman because he does the voice for everything. Yes, this is true. It's gonna be great. All right, everybody. Well, have yourselves a wonderful time, and we will talk to you next week. See ya. All right, man. Take care. There's a place called Kokomo. That's where you want to go.